Hey, I'm back. Let's talk about ice cream. Now, I'm sure you know by now my love for San Francisco and its hills, but this one probably takes the cake or Sunday. If you never made the trek up Union Street towards Hyde, you're in for a treat. Stationed on the southwest corner and occupying the same spot, the same location for over 70 years, is Swanson's Ice Cream. The original owner, Earl Swenson, started the business after returning from World War II and put his newly minted ice cream making skills to the test with the corner spot atop the peak of Russian Hill. Now, you wouldn't know it from a glance, but the low-key charm of Swenson's is secretly the catalyst for a global franchise that has seen runaway success all across Southeast Asia. Since opening its first location overseas in the 80s, Swenson's has exploded in popularity with over 300 storefronts in countries like India, Taiwan, Malaysia, the Philippines, and most notably Thailand, where it has somehow risen the ranks of dessert royalty to become the number one ice cream brand in the entire country. Who knew? The original Swenson's though, it's still here in San Francisco, and like many of the natives that continue to patronize it, simply refuses to leave. Even with the brand's worldwide success, Swenson's is still unforgivingly old school. They specialize in classic flavors like lemon custard, Turkish coffee, and good old fashioned strawberry. They make their own waffle cones, they churn their own ice cream on site, because that's what you're supposed to do at an ice cream parlor. Now, this video is about my favorite corner of San Francisco, and my belief is that a great intersection should have something good to see in every direction. And here you may have the most perfect example of that. Make your way up the hill from here, and you're met with views of Alcatraz, Coit Tower, and Lombard's hairpin turns. But Swenson's also marks the beginning of Hyde Street's small commercial district. If you venture deeper into the canopy of ficus trees, you'll probably end up with a few new favorite places to eat. And of course, of course, a cable car line runs directly through the corridor. This idyllic scene wouldn't be complete without the hum of the tracks and the city's signature bell ringers passing by a few times an hour. But really, what's the point of going anywhere else when this corner right here is so magical? Once the sun sets and the streetlights begin their nightly routine, this corner transforms into something from another era. The 107 bulbs that highlight the edge of Swenson's classic marquee coax eager treat seekers like a moth to a flame into its lattice walled interior, one that has seen very few changes in the last half century of operation. I don't know, I think there's just something about those bulbs that freezes place in time. They have this natural ability to invoke a feeling of coziness and comfort and can easily turn a dark, avoidable intersection into a brilliantly charming place with its own gravitational pull. Swenson's is at the center of this solar system, with the smell of sugar working in place of physics and people's celestial bodies orbiting on a collision course with the nearest hot fudge sundae. It's ice cream, the way the universe intended. So growing up, I always felt like ice cream shops were kind of like a bridge to bedtime. You know, they were open later than a restaurant usually, but not as late as a bar. They kind of occupied this weird, eerily calm space between evenings and nights. And what I felt they offered was a chance to be a part of something that all kids desire, but few realize they want until it's swiftly suppressed. And no, I'm not talking about dessert. I'm talking about a chance at freedom. For me, warm Friday nights in autumn were usually spent in front of Swenson's single, often sticky, terracotta step, sculpting my scoop of marble fudge into a perfectly shaped dome and then counting the precious few hours of consciousness I had left in the day. You know, it's like the inescapable threat of sleep never really sat well with me, but dessert provided a moment of comfort my pre-adolescent self needed. Not because of the sugar rush, but because it allowed me to participate in what was basically a controlled rebellion. A delicious, creamy, cherry-topped rebellion. One where you could be out into the wee hours of the night, or at least until closing, and reaching one last fleeting feeling of freedom before your parents dragged you into bed. And there was no place I would rather do it than underneath those lights. I can't stop talking about those lights. Basically what I'm trying to say is that whether you grew up with it or not, Swenson's is a corner that demands your nostalgia. It's a corner that reaches deep into our collective youthful desire for more freedom and for the chance to stay up just a little bit longer. 
And you know what? I don't even think you need rose tinted glasses. That anachronistic glow and intoxicating waffle batter aroma, that's enough to make anyone appreciate it. So this is Swenson's Ice Cream on Union and Hyde, and this is my favorite corner in San Francisco. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've talked into a camera. I hope that went well. As you can see, I am in the new studio, a new office, whatever you want to call it. It's just a place where I put all my crap and have a bunch of lights and talk too loudly while the baby sleeps. You know, I'm still trying to get back into a good rhythm and I'm not sure exactly how it all is going to fit together when I want to start spinning the wheels on this channel again. It's taking a while, but I'm glad to be back. So. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys at the next spot. Bye.